guys back out one of my favorite little north coast lakes I always like to start a video by saying that I'm at my favorite something or other it's uh, about 625 in the morning misjudged it a little bit sun came up earlier than I expected so missed a lot of the uh, sunrise top water I think lots of trout are still jumping everywhere so I'm gonna work my way down the lake uh, hopefully gonna hit the pad covered far end um, and, and get in on some frog there. Throw in the uh, Teckle Sprinker Frog right now. It's kind of a cool little bait. Got a lot of hype last year, but um, you know, kind of a frog meets whopper plopper, almost like a weedless plopper. Um, kind of a cool design. Haven't caught a fish on it yet, but I haven't caught a fish on a frog before, so it's not saying much. Got one. Got one. Not big, not big, but it's a fish. I don't think I have him hooked very good. I can't tell. Get up here, bud. And quick release. I did not have him hooked well at all because he ran off and I did not realize it. Complete blunder on my part, but we're on the board for the day, and that is a great thing. Uh, switched up to a three eight in, three eighths ounce Wu Tungsten uh, Strike King Rodent and Green Pumpkin, big uh, flipping hook. It's an owner. Um, problem there was 100% user error. Got him. Oh, I lost him. Oh, man. That's frustrating. I'm so bad at frog fishing. <laughs> oh, well. I'm going to get this eventually. I'm trying real hard, though. Got him. Got him. There we go. Let me get him in the boat as fast as I can. Yes. There we go first ever frogfish and I hooked the crap out of him that is awesome cool I mean a little buck bass but hooked him real good finally first ever frogfish that feels good all right bud feisty guy oh I missed him dumb 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 Dum 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 dum. Dum 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 dum. Let's see if a stick bait will get him. I had it right on his head there. He took it. <laughs> oh no, I pulled it out of his mouth. Oh, he had a crap out of it too. That worked perfectly too. Like exactly what you want. Misses the frog, you throw into the soft plastic, he crushes it. Got him that time. Got him that time. All right. Aggressive little dude. Got a lot of lettuce on him. Come here, bud. Wasn't gonna miss you again. Was not going to miss you again. Twice was enough. I almost didn't even throw it back in there because I figured there's no way if he hit it twice, I was gonna get him a third time. But as soon as that thing hit the water, it started moving. These are so warm. This fish is so warm. All right, bud. Um, you know, I always saw people online doing that, you know. I, as soon as you miss a frogfish, just throw back in with a Senko or a flipping bait or something like that. And I did, and boom. Another fish in the boat, so. See, guys, I learn. Got one. 
I knew there was going to be a fish on that that log. It looked too good. I don't. I think it's another buck bass. He doesn't feel big at all. He's digging real hard though. That's for sure. Sorry, I got that pointed up a little bit. All right, you're ready. Come here, bud. A little bit better fish. Still certainly nothing remotely special, but you know, fish are fish. Oh, I missed, I would need to pay attention. I was literally, oh, I was looking at the damn sky. All right. God dang it. I was looking at the sky, he hit it twice. It's fine though. Because he's going to hit my Senko. There it is. Yep. <laughs> oh, man. That's so cool. Another teeny little fish, but hey. <laughs> he hit the frog twice. I don't even think he could get that frog in his mouth. But... <laughs> set real deep in this guy I think I'm set real deep in this guy oh he's digging hard oh I lost him oh that's my hubris right there he oh man I screwed that up so hard he uh, bit that took it under and I uh, thought he'd let go so I waited a second realized he hadn't let go leaned into him and I, I got a couple good hooks into him um, but he dug real deep here damn that was a another small fish but I really I'm trying to Get these darn frogfish, man. I might switch to a regular frog in a second here. <sighs> Middle of the morning, been here since butt crack of pre dawn, hoping for top water, and I've got top water. I've been throwing this sprinker, probably been blown up 50 times. I've got hooks into four or five fish. Uh, I think three different ones now where they've missed it and I've thrown a Senko in and they've eaten that. Um, but, you know, frustrating day. I'm still learning the frog. I threw it a lot last year, but I never had any blow ups or anything. So I never had any chance to practice those hook sets, practice waiting, um, you know, practice when to feel for it. So uh, I'm getting my practice in now, switching up to a traditional frog and to throw a Booyah Pad Crasher, uh, see if I can get some of these fish to bite. So let's we'll see how the rest of the morning goes before this storm rolls in. I got to bounce. Bye. Got one. Oop, better one, better one, better one. No, not much better. Golly, these quick releases today. Oh well, that's another fish in, or at least to the boat. <laughs> not the size or the landing or any real execution bits I wanted, but. Got one. Better one. Better one. Much better one. Oh, well. I don't know if it's much better, but. I said that last time. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. And boat. Finally, stayed pinned. Actually got one into the damn boat. That's the nicest fish of the day, I think. Got little parasites on him, but these are still, I think, pre-spawn bass. I mean, look how thick he is. Really green. Later, bud. Fine, fine, fine. Fuck. Got him. 
isolated timber. Knew that was going to hold the fish. Stay down. Yet again, stay down. Stay down. Sweet. Another cookie cutter buck bass. I hold them all the same way. Right hand in. Got one. There we go. Come here. Come here. Oh, there's another fish while it's waving in the air. Well, I almost lost him. Well, stop me if you've heard this before. Joel fishes catching fish on a spinnerbait. Well, today's been a learning experience at the very least. Um, episode in humility and frustration and uh, a lot of failure, but uh, you know I learned from it. Uh, great at practice, you know, watching for frog bites, uh, setting the hook, learning to pay attention because I tend to drift off and daydream a bit and, you know, today was uh, a lot of this. Oh! Uh. Oh my god. I... So, yeah. But, uh, no got a little board catching one pound bass so I'm catching some of these really fierce stalker trout in here and I uh, still got to get all the way back to the ramp so I'm gonna trout fish my way back maybe throw a few more bass uh, lures and see what happens but uh, all in all you know pretty good half day on the water uh, looking forward to getting back out next weekend uh, warm water warm weather warm fish so they're biting uh, thanks for watching guys yeah.